Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and having a great day. First up, one of the largest money transfer service companies in the world, MoneyGram, has officially announced a partnership with Ripple and has announced that they will indeed be making use of Ripple's XRP token to increase speed and to reduce the cost of cross-border payments. After the announcement, Brad Garlinghouse, who is the CEO of Ripple, had this to say, and I do quote, the payment problem just doesn't affect banks. It also affects companies like MoneyGram, which help people get money to the ones they care about. By using a digital asset like XRP that settles in three seconds or less, our clients can move money as quickly as information, end quote. MoneyGram has announced that they will be integrating XRP through XRapid, which is Ripple's on-demand liquidity product, and that they say that this will help with settling real-time foreign currency exchanges. Garlinghouse also noted during a tweet that he said, just to be clear that this is only the first step in a marathon to make XRP the global liquidity solution for payment providers and banks, keeping in mind that there are also still two more uh, global money transfer companies that have yet to be announced by the company. Up next, the uh, so the entire South Korea fiasco thing, after the Ministry of Justice came out saying that he wanted to impose a ban on cryptocurrencies within the country, nearly 100,000 people have signed a petition requesting that the government stop the ministry from even thinking about imposing a ban on cryptocurrencies. Even crazier, already 50 petitions have been submitted to the executive office of the South Korean head of state. After this happened, the Ministry of Finance and Strategy came forward to reiterate that they do not agree with or support any type of crypto ban within the country. Almost immediately after that, the other heads of government came forward and said that they still believe that crypto is causing a panic within the country, but they will not impose any ban on crypto in the short term. Even better than all of that put together, a number of petitions have begun circulating around the country of South Korea asking for the formal removal of the head of the Justice of Ministry from office, stating that just by saying the word ban, he single-handedly manipulated the global markets, causing them to slide down by $100 billion, simply by releasing a statement about a ban when it hadn't even been agreed upon by the other members of the government. Boy, hopefully he'll think a bit next time before he speaks. Alrighty, guys, that is definitely going to do it for this video. As always, I hope you guys got something from it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are making tons of money. And yeah, once again, thank you for all the support. And I will talk to you all soon. See you.